What do we got? Whiskey. Ooh, we like whiskey. We have some single malt whiskey. We do. Single malt scotch whiskey, I should say. It is Loch Lee Our Barley Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It comes in at 48%. And this comes to us from our fine friends at Impex Beverages. It's a tiny little bottle. It is. So they, we know it's from our fine friends at Impex Beverages. Why? Because they like to send us tiny little bottles. But they gave us four it's tiny nice. little bottles. Oh, they I'm gave not us a nice assortment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, they bring stuff in we can't find here. Usually. They gave us an assortment. It's nice. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was. Uh, they sent us four samples of four different whiskeys from four different distilleries. Yeah. And then they had all the reps on, uh, yep. you know, their, what do they call it? I forget what they call it. The deep dot, the distiller yeah, deep dots. Yeah, yeah. So they had John Campbell. It's a good show. Formerly of Lefroy, yeah. who's now their, I guess he's, is he their master he distiller? He is their production director. Okay, so he's the big yes, cheese. Yes. He's the big cheese at the Lock League. He's, he's the big boss. He's a good guy. And we, we had the pleasure of meeting him one, way back when he yeah. was with Lefroy. So, you he's know. Big, he's big boss, man. He is. He is. And he makes a fine whiskey. Yeah, he does. So, um, you want to read a little I'll about this one? I'll pour this is the core single malt expression from Lock Lee. It's called R Barley because it is inspired by the barley grown right there at Lock Lee Farm. It's a carefully honed recipe using John Campbell's years of experience and a combination of first fill bourbon, Olorosa sherry, and STR casks. So what they do is use the three different barrelings. They use first fill bur bourbon barrels from Loretto, Kentucky. They use Olorosa sherry from Cherez. And then they also from, from, bring from where? Jerez. 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 It's an H. Jerez. I don't know. Jerez. <laughs> and then they get SDR casks. They are ex Rioja Barriques. Ooh. I probably didn't say no, either of those. Correct. I think you were right there on that so, one. So, uh, and that's where they uh, they shave, toast, and rechar those barrels. Okay. So they, it imparts a little bit from the bourbon, a little bit from the Olorosa mm. sherry, a little bit from the SDR. Nice. Need a little bit going on. Why not? And they uh, they comes in at forty six percent, and it won a gold at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition and a gold at the Scottish Field Summer Challenge, which I'd like to be in the Scottish Field when they're doing I would the like summer to. challenge. I that like sounds to. like an outdoor challenge. I, I'd like to. Yes. I'd like to be a part. Drink of whiskey. That's your <laughs> challenge. I'd like to be part of that. Challenge accepted. And they have a couple at their site. They have a a, a drink that they recommend. It is the salted honey highball. Okay. With blackthorn salt. Hmm. All right. Sounds good. But let's, let's try the whiskey try, first. Let's try it as is. Cheers. Cheers. That smells like whiskey. Oh yeah. It's very light though. It's very light on the nose. Don't you think? It doesn't seem. It doesn't like overpower. That's more, I guess, fruity. A yeah. Bright. I would, so it's, it would, just, would this be what you call bright? It smells bright. Yeah. It's like it's like you know light fruity. And the color of it, you wouldn't think it was in the Oloroso or the. Yeah, no, it's not really dark color. Do we, do we for, get an age? Do we know how many years it is? They, they don't give it age, and they don't okay. tell you how long it's in each of the barrels. No, that's okay. So. It smells great. It smells really good. Yeah. Crisp and clean and delicious. No, I'm not getting anything like maritime or briny or anything no. on this one. No, I think it's mostly just fruits. Yeah. Maybe a little citrus, maybe a little bit of orange. Just a slight hint of like orange peel. Some marmalade. Marmalade. I do like a nice marmalade. Oh, I just got a fresh jar. I got some fresh bread too. I do like a nice marmalade. All right, Paddington, let's go, go in. in. It's got a nice feel to it. It's not watery. It's got a little bit of viscosity to it, but not too thick and not too oily. Yeah, from the color, I thought it'd be a little thinner than it is. That's yeah. actually a little I, thicker I, than I, I thought. Got it back a little more. And it's, uh, you know, on the nose, you didn't get much in the way of heat. Mm. It's uh, quite a bit peppery. A lot of pepper in there. Yeah, there's a little bit. Mm. It's all, for me, it's up front. It's like front to middle, at least with the spice. Mm -hmm. But then it kind of coats. It kind of coats a little bit. There's a little bit of light fruitiness coming up. Yeah. You know, some pears, maybe a little like vanilla custard. Pepper, a little sweetness. And then mm -hmm. you know, a decent finish. Not very long. No, no, no. But a no, decent no. finish. No, it's nice. That's, 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 nice. A, that's a very light, easy drinking whiskey. Yeah, that's nice. You know, it's not overpowering. Yeah. It's welcoming. Yeah. How about that? It's so welcoming that you just sloshed it back, didn't you, there? I didn't slosh it back. You short poured me. I did not short pour I'm you. I'm pretty it's sure you short poured me. Whatever. We could go back to the photographic evidence and see. Well, rewind. <laughs> okay, rewind. <laughs> Is this where you'll note during the review that you did not short pour me? Uh, maybe. <laughs> he did slosh it back. Mm. That was that was nice. Mm. See, I had to get enough for the first one to chew my whiskey. So I No, I gotcha. That's nice. Yeah, I'm just kind of like just trying nice. to take it all in. I mean, because this is like, you know, I had a tiny little bit because I wanted to review it later. So yeah. I only tried a little bit when we were on with uh, on the Zoom with them. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I only tried a little bit because I wanted to save some for the review. For the deep dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, like, no, that's really, really good. Um, I mean, I don't know. You, do you go like a, somewhere between like an 89 and a 91? Because it's like a light whiskey. I think it's more like if people are afraid of scotch. Yeah. This is like, the you know, like just paths yeah. yep. in, in, with scotch. This is the, the warm and inviting path. This is the path of least resistance. Right. Which might take you another way. Yeah. It depends on which way you want to go. Yeah. I'd so, say this is, this is definitely a 90 for me. Yeah, no, it's good. That's really, really nice. So That's nice. Yeah, very enjoyable. So, once again, thank you to the fine folks at Impex for sharing a, another delicious whiskey. Yeah. Their portfolio just keeps growing and growing and growing. And, and they keep finding these winners. I know, which is great. Yeah. Which is really, really good. Yeah. It says a lot. You know, like, they, they bring in good stuff. And, yeah. you know, they send stuff out to people. They take people on tour. They do a lot of education. So, I really think they stand behind the product. Yeah. They're not just... They're not. They're just not out to make a buck. Yeah, they're not just trying to bring stuff in to sell it. I mean, they are out to make a buck, but it's not just like let's bring this swill in and see who buys it. It's like this is really good whiskey. Buy it. So anyway, sir. Cheers. Cheers.